question I had to ask myself, why am I not taught anything positive about the African part of my name? Hi, my name is Delbert Richardson. I'm an ethnomuseumologist, second generation storyteller of the unspoken truths. Well, behind me is what I call the American History Travel Museum, The Unspoken Truths. The museum creates a healthy space for difficult conversations. The museum is, is a uh, chronological timeline. It starts with Mother Africa, then it goes to American chattel slavery, then it goes to Jim Crow, and then the end is uh, the most important piece, Still We Rise. And not only did my ancestors create amazing things, they were responsible for what we know now as STEM science, technology, engineering, and math. There's no place in this museum experience where a child can't be, be comfortable learning because I will teach through my voice and you will learn through your eyes and you will embrace through your ears. And a lot of times our children are told you can't touch that, but the reality is our children learn kinesthetically quicker and faster than anything. So what it does, it allows them to engage in the item in a way where a relationship is developed that they'll never forget. I was born in 1954. I was born a Negro for color. I had no idea that I could choose how I wanted to identify. So in 1973, I think it was five years after Martin Luther King had been assassinated, there was this revolution that uh, African-American people were doing. They were reaffirming themselves by calling themselves black. As a result of that, I started asking myself a question. What if a situation was created where all children could learn how to self-identify and more importantly, be really, really okay with how they see themselves versus how the world sees them? So my work is essentially centered around self-actualization and identity development. Now you understand I didn't racialize it at all because all children struggle with the feeling of self and feeling good about self. I firm to believe that all of us should continue to be on this journey of self-discovery because we've all inherited some stuff that really, really is not good for society.